I'm Erica and welcome to my channel or welcome back. So I've got a sewing video for you guys today. I'm so excited to talk about this skirt. So uh, earlier this month I got to pattern test for Pattern Emporium again, which is always like the highlight of my sewing year. And um, they are doing a double release, pattern release, today. Um, so it is a really cute shirt called the Carefree Cuff Tee, which is kind of a boxy t-shirt. And then this skirt, which is the sporty lounge skirt. This is also made in knit fabrics. And you might be thinking to yourself, sporty lounge? That doesn't really sound like your usual vintage glam style. It's not, but this is why you've got to look at line drawings on patterns. Don't look at the name, don't look at the pretty pictures, look at the line drawing, because this skirt has a lot of versatility and a lot of possibilities, and I ended up making three of them. So um, what can I tell you about it? The sporty lounge aspect, uh, the lounge aspect comes from the fact that it's in a knit fabric. It is a relaxed fit A-line skirt, and it's got an elastic waistband. Sporty comes from some fun details that are in the pattern. You can add a tab front waistband for a fake drawstring or a real drawstring, which is a hack I did on my other two skirts. Um, it's got these cute pockets. And you can either do these sort of kind of set in curved pockets, or there's actually a welt pocket, which has excellent directions. I've never tried a welt pocket, but this, this might be the time that I do. Um, I made this first one out of Liverpool fabric, um, and I never make pockets, but the way the pockets are explained in this pattern make them so easy that I think anyone could tackle a pocket. Um, so these are both, this is a Liverpool fabric, this is from Express Knit, and then this fabric that I use for the pocket bags is from Girl Charlie. I don't think they still have this one in stock anymore, but it was another Liverpool. The skirt is right at the knee, but you can change the length very easily. You can extend it to a midi skirt. You can do it shorter. Some of mine are a little shorter. Um, you can wear it up at the waist if you'd like, or you can pull it down and wear it more at the hip, which is kind of what I'm doing since it is such a comfy kind of style. I'm wearing with it this kimono cardigan. This is also Pattern Emporium pattern. This is the Songbird, and it's in a French terry, which is at Girl Charlie. Um, it has this really cool kind of kimono look, and you can make it like all the way to the floor, like a super long length, there's shorter lengths, there's everything in between. So I made the cropped, which is the shortest one. But I just love the like casual, comfy vibe. So let me show you my other two. Be right back. So this is the next one I made. This was done with a double brushed poly fabric. And then um, I had less than a yard of this. So this skirt is not fabric hungry at all. You can really get a lot of mileage like from a short, smaller cut of fabric with this skirt. It's got the pockets and I did the pocket and the waistband with just a plain navy double brushed poly. And as you can see, this has a tab. I'm gonna untie it so you can see it a little better. So it's got a tab front with eyelets. And you just put in your little eyelets. This is really beautifully drafted into the pattern and it's supposed to be, the initial idea is that you use the elastic waistband and that this is a faux tab with the faux drawstring. But what I did was I sewed in the waistband with the tab without the elastic and then I just threaded through a drawstring. The drawstring is just a small piece of the fabric, a little remnant that I had and it is a working real drawstring which I think makes this perhaps the most comfortable thing I own. It is so easy to wear and pull on and just go. Um, let me show you the curved hem in a little bit more detail. Be the most nervous was the curved hem. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here is the side, and do you see how it goes up into that curve? That's part of the sporty aspect. That was inspired by track shorts. You know, track shorts that have like the little tick on the side. It was inspired by that. And when I saw that, I was like, I will never get that hem straight. It, I can't do it. But 
Kate drafts the pattern where the skirt actually has this weird little triangle bit at the hem and it just helps you to get that perfect soft curved corner. So this skirt is genius as far as how it's drafted and how it's put together. So this is my second one with the drawstring. If you try this pattern, I definitely recommend the drawstring. It would be so nice to make this like in a French terry. It's like a swimsuit cover up or just to live your life. And then finally, I have one more outfit to show you guys. We'll be right back. And not least, I needed that matching set faux dress vibe. So this is the skirt in a double brushed poly. These are from Girl Charlie. Um, and then the Endless Summer Tee that has this cute little flutter sleeve. And it makes the cutest little fake dress that looks like it just has a little drawstring waist. And uh, I love, I love this outfit. This is really cute. Um, so the Endless Summer Tee and the um, Songbird are both patterns I had never tried until this test. They had been kind of in my stash and I hadn't tried them. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, they're so perfect to wear with this skirt. But if you go to the pattern launch, you'll find not only the t-shirt pattern, which is also really cute, but the skirt pattern and then other pattern emporium patterns that are on sale. I don't think the two that I paired the skirt with are, but there's a lot of other really good ones that are just fantastic tops and bottoms for the two new launched patterns. So there we go, the sporty lounge skirt. I am so glad I tested it, so glad I tried this out, and I'm actually gonna wear this version today. Um, I might try literally everything, but let's see. Cause it's a little cold here today. I got leggings on, as you can see. Oh yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, happy sewing!